Oh, hello. <coughs> Right. Right, hello, bonjour, labas, guten tag. Welcome to a bit of a, well, welcome to a Forza Motorsport video, guys. In this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how free play works in Forza Motorsport. So there'll be no career or anything like that. But yeah, I'll tell you guys, this game is only available on Xbox Series X, <coughs> Xbox Series S, PC Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass, and Steam. This game is not available on Xbox One. But yeah, as I say, if you want to know the prices of this game, guys, feel free to jump over to my first little video, guys. I do go through all the prices and everything over there. But yeah, I will put my social links down below, guys. I'll put the link to this game down below as well. But yeah, like I say, my streams coming up, guys, are going to be... Because it's been a slight change to my stream schedule again. So, my streams coming up, guys, will be later on today. When this video goes live. More Forza Motorsport. Then tomorrow, which is Saturday, will be TSW4. And then Sunday was going to be Starfield, but there's going to be more Forza Motorsport on Sunday as well. And then for next week's streams, guys, I don't know what's going on yet. I'm still trying to decide either if I want to do a spooky week or just a normal week. I'm trying to decide. But yeah, anyway, guys... <coughs> Enough of me waffling on. I do apologise, guys, if there's any audio or FPS problems in this video as well. But anyway, let's get into it, shall we? Enough of me waffling on. So, if you want to do free play, guys, what you do, once you've logged into the game and all that, you come to Racing, and then, yeah, you've got your f career, your featured multiplayer, your free play, your rivals, and your private multiplayer sessions as well. But the one we're going to focus on is just free play. So what we want to do, guys, is click on free play. Then you come through to this. <coughs> quick event setup and advanced event setup. So, quick event is pick a car, pick a track, go race. Fastest way to get on the um, on the track. Includes basic events like param parameters, including number of opponents, race lengths, and weather. And an advanced event uh, set up is any race you can imagine choose from dozens of events event parameters to create and save your custom event setups so for quick event setup well, guys let's just go into it so what you do guys you either pick one of your own cars <coughs> or you can pick or you can uh, buy or rent any of the cars I have gone through a car list guys and that's also available on my YouTube channel as well so yeah, you can pick from any of the cars or anything like that. <coughs> so, I don't know, let's go here. Let's click on the Dodge Viper. So yeah, you can rent it for free. So yeah, you come through to this part, which is a quick event setup. So you got game type, so you can do circuit, timed race, test drive, and that's it. Tracks, you can go random or you can pick from any of the tracks in the game. I generally keep it as random. Track layout, that's just random. So, I don't know, if I'll click. So, yeah, if you click on any of the uh, races and all that, you can change the circuit type. The time of day, so you've got sunrise, morning, late morning, noon, afternoon, late mor late afternoon, evening, sunset and night and midnight. I keep it on random guys because then I can get whatever sort of day at time of day I want. Weather, so you got variable, clear, mostly clear, partly cloudy, cloudy, looming clouds, thunder clouds, thin haze, patchy fog, dense fog, over overcast dry, overcast wet, drizzle, light rain, moderate rain, heavy rain, thunderstorm, rainstorm. <coughs> and then that's how you've got number of laps, so you can have it automatic or have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then onwards. So you can probably have up to probably about 99 laps. Number of driver tiles. <coughs> this is basically AI, guys. You can have as many AI on the, on the race as you want. 
So yeah, that's how you set up a quick event. We're going to go to event set uh, advanced event setup now and have a look at that. So yeah, again guys, you can pick whatever car you want. So you can either buy, you can either use your own car or rent a car. We're just going to go for that again. So, okay, this is the advanced event setup. So yeah, you've got your game type, which can be, <coughs> again, circuit, timed, multi-class, test drive. Then you've got race length, so you've got short, medium, long, custom. Then you've got track types, so you can pick from any of the track types. Track layout, you can pick whatever track layout you want for that race. And as you saw there, guys, it does change the number of laps as well. So you can set your number of laps or if you go to, yeah, different places. So here, yeah, you can set your number of laps for that as well. Let's put that back to automatic. Race timer. Set a race timer for your event. When the timer elapses, the race ends. So you can change the start of the time of day as well. Same as what you can do on the quick events. So choose, choose a, so you've got custom starting, ta starting time, which is hour. So custom start time. You've got your custom start time minutes. You can turn time progression so you can have it rolling or fixed. <coughs> time scale so you can have it four times. 30 at 12 times, 24 times, or you can have it one times and two times, but that's better four. Weather, same as on the quick event, you can have it as random. Dynamic track rubber, you can have it on or off. Start track rubber, starting track rubber level. So basically, so it's just my laptop going off in the background. So you can start, set the start level of dynamic track rubber from zero to 100%. High values add more track, more track rubber at start of the rate of the event. Affecting grip were for the whole race. Okay, then just come to driver tar options. <coughs> so you've got driver tar difficulty, which you can change. Between, uh, let me have a look, between 1 and 8. They've also got driver tar, driver tar designs, so you can have it on or off. Number of driver tars, so you can have as many as you want there. So car, so moving over to the car part, so you've got car restrictions. So I'm just scrolling back to the beginning. So you can have any car restrictions, early factory racer, race cars, early L LMP. Early sports sport comeback, exotic GT classics, Formula 60s, Formula 70s, former Mazda spec, Forza GT, Forza P1, Forza P2, Forza Proto H, Forza Touring Cars, Grand Prix Rivals, GTP slash C, GTX Sports Cars, Hot Hatch Cut Icons, Mission R Spec, Modern Exotic GT, Modern Factory Race Cars, Modern Hot Hatch. Modern Hypercars, Modern Sports Compact, Modern Sports Coupes, Modern Sports GT, Modern Sports Touring, Prototype Group Racing, Sports Coupe Icons, Sports GT Icons, Sport Luxury, Sport Touring Classics, Street Drag Races, The Birth of Grand Prix, Track Toys, Vintage ex ex uh, Exotic GT, Vintage Le Mans Prototypes, Vintage Le Mans Sports Cars, Vintage Muscle, Vintage Sports Compact, and then that's it. Car class, so you can have E, D, C, B, A, S, R, P, X. So yeah, you can have your performance index, minutes, performance index max. Car level, so you can have it from level 1 up to level 50. <coughs> car origin, so model family, you can change whatever model family you want. I'm not going to go through every single one. Make, so you can change the make of the vehicles. Model, so just say, I don't know, Acura uh, ARX, Acura. Um, okay. Okay, so any, so the model is 
required that all cars in this event are a specific model. This is handy if you want to require each driver to use the same car. Okay, so you can have year max minimum, 1926 to whatever year you want. Maximum, so it's set there as 2024. Then you got region. So you can change your region between North America, Europe and Asia. <coughs> country, so you can change the country. And then you got car specifications, so you can have power a minute, 50 HP and upwards, power max, 2000 HP or downwards, curb weight minimum and curb weight maximum, driver type any, engine placement any, so you can change these as well, so you can have all wheel drive, wheel wheel drive, four wheel drive, engine replacement, so rear, mid, front, or dual, engine configuration, so you can have it as V, W, infoline, rotary, flat, and then you got cylinders, so you can change the cylinders, so one cylinder, two cylinder, three cylinder upwards, then you got aspiration, uh, asp yeah, so you can have, you can change that as well, Power handicap, you got that. Front grip, head cap, rear grip, hand cap, handicap. Okay, so rules. So rules and regulations. So event rules, presence, so you can have club rules, sport rules, expert rules, or custom. So yeah, you can chop and change it as well. So you got ghost back markers. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you can uh, have that on or off. Simulator level, we can change that. Forza racer regulations, uh, I believe you can change that when it's uh, shown. FRR disqualification, you can have it on or off. Rewind, you can have it on or off. <coughs> Race start type, so you've got standing or rolling. Grid per ordering, so you've got P or random. Uh, ascending grid order, you can have it on or off. Then you've got roll on, roll off delay type, roll off delay, so you can change that. Race end, so you can change the end conditions, that's the number of laps. End of race timer, you can have, so you can set it to whatever you want. Scoring type, so there's none base there, but you can change it if you want, if it's lit up. Compare best lap score, you can have it on or off. So pitting, so you can change the pitting if you want pitting on. Teams, so number of teams, I know it's set in none at the moment, but you can have two teams, three teams, four teams. Team scoring, so you can have as individual, best, worst, total, average, race driven. And then <coughs> interleave, interleave teams, you can have it on or off. Team 1 rolling delay, so you get off delay, so you can change that. T set team 2, team 3, team 4. Car groups, so number of car groups, so you can have none, 2, 3, 4. <coughs> you can have, so if you've got a number, uh, score groups are, uh, you can turn it on or off if you've got a number up there. And then order by car group is turned on if you've got a number in at the top. Order by car group. So yeah, basically guys, that is basically how you set up a quick event. And an advanced event. So just to finish off guys, we're going to do a bit of a one lap race. Uh... In a car, obviously. Just to finish it off. Uh, let me decide what vehicle to get, just to jump in. I don't know. Uh, do you know what? Let's finish off in a Porsche. So yeah, I'll just do, I'll just do one lap in this for a car and then... Yeah, there you go.
So I'm trying to look for Porsche. Joe, well, let's go for the 2021 Porsche 911 GTS. Yes, we'll rent that. Circuit race, yeah, we'll keep it at that. Number of laps, we'll just set that to one for now. Number of driver tires, we'll set it to two. We'll keep everything else as random. There you go. Okay, so just for this test thing, we've gone to Maple Valley, short circuit reverse. And as you can see, it's wet. With the rain still coming down, best to hug the inside line through every turn until you get a sense if there's any grip anywhere. Let's do this. So yeah, when you come to a quick race, guys, you've got you can see you've got event. So you've got the event info, driver list, and event setup. You've also got the car, so you can select a car if you want to change the car if you click if you clicked on the wrong car. You've got difficulty, so you can change the difficulty. And then you got your settings as well. <coughs> oh yeah, I'm driving inside the car as well. So yeah, it's just one lap. Oi! Cheeky get. So yeah, we'll be doing more of this uh, later on. If you're watching this on the day this goes live, if you don't, if you're not watching this on the day this goes live, then yeah, that stream would have been gone. So but yeah, like I say, my stream's coming up, guys. At more Forza Motorsport today, uh, which is Friday. TSW4 tomorrow on Saturday, and then more Forza Motorsport on Sunday. And the next week, I don't know what my streams are going to be yet. There you go, just a quick whiz round a track. And also, before we finish, there's something else I do want to show it as well. So, bear with me. So yeah, when you come through to here, guys, race rewards. So you do get um, money for racing as well. And then, yeah, once you get to here, <coughs> post-race menu, so you can continue on to the next track. You can restart the race. You can view the replay. You can save the replay. Or you can just exit. And then once you've got come to exit, you come back to the free, free play screen. So... Yeah, basically, guys, that is how free play works. I say I probably I don't think I'll be able to explain multiplayer because well, I don't think I'm gonna have anybody racing on here with me anyway. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is everything. I say this game is only available, guys, on Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, PC Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass, and Steam. This game is not available on Xbox One. But yeah, like I said, guys, I will be, if you're watching this on the day this goes live, I will be back with more Forza Motorsport later in the day. <coughs> but then, as I say, tomorrow we'll be training Team World 4. Saturday, Sunday will be more Forza Motorsport. And then next week, I don't know what I'm streaming yet. So, there we go, guys. I will put my social links down below, guys. I will put my link to this game down below as well. And yeah, all the prices and everything, guys, I've gone through in the first look stream as well. But yeah, there you go guys, enjoy the rest of your day guys, stay safe, stay happy, and I will catch you guys in the next one.